Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatry course. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR net December 2019 and we are doing this problem 85 of your paper. So it's a problem from part C and it is of abstract algebra. So let us have a look. Let I be an ideal of Z, then which of the following statements are true? First option suggests us that I is a principal ideal. Second option suggests us that I is a prime ideal of Z. Third option suggests us that if I is a prime ideal of Z, then I is maximal ideal in Z. Fourth option suggests if I is a maximal ideal in Z, then I is prime ideal of Z. So firstly, we need a few definition about principal ideal, about prime ideal. Let me write those definition and then we will solve it. So it's a very easy problem. Let us see the definition first. So see, I have written some results for you or some definition. Let us study this definition number one. It says an ideal generated by a single element is called principal ideal. Definition two tells us that if R is a commutative ring, all right. So there is a misprint. Let me correct it. So see, I have corrected it. Let R be a commutative ring an ideal P so we are denoting this ideal with P, all right? An ideal P not equal to the ring R is said to be prime ideal of R if A belongs to R, B belongs to R such that AB belongs to P, all right? So if it happens that AB belongs to P, then it, if it, then it, then it will imply A belongs to P or B belongs to P. That means this condition all right, is the definition for the prime ideal. So A and B are elements of ring. If they are product or A operated B belongs to P, then A belongs to P or B belongs to P. So let us begin with this knowledge and let us see what happens. So the first statement tells us that I is an ideal of Z, then I is a principal ideal. All right, so for this statement, I have not written anything. But uh, what I want you to know is this, that every ideal of Z is a principal ideal. All right. Please keep in mind always that every ideal of Z is a principal ideal. Please keep in mind. All right. So that is why your first option is correct. Now let us see the second option. It says I is a prime ideal of Z. So uh, if I is an ideal of Z, then it is a prime ideal of Z. What I will do, I will take this ideal 6Z. We know this is an ideal, all right? What we know about Z, that MZ, where M belongs to uh, some natural number, is always an ideal. This represents a general ideal for Z, all right? Where M belongs to natural number union zero. Now we know, we know 6z is an ideal. We know this? Yes. So now let us take 2 and 3. So 2 and 3 belongs to z? Yes. Now 2 dot 3 is e it belongs to 6z? Yes. So do you know, do you think that 2 belongs to 6z or 6 belongs to 6z? No, it's not. Are you getting my point or not? So what I have done, I have taken two elements from the ring R. Uh, I operated them. I got that 2 dot 3 will belongs to 6 Z because the product is 6. So we will get 6 belongs to 6 Z is correct. So but the problem is with this that neither 2 belongs to 6 Z nor 6 belongs to 6 Z. So the condition breaks over here that, that imply that 6 Z is not a prime ideal. It is not a prime ideal. So it is an ideal, but it is not a prime ideal. Therefore, second statement has to be incorrect. Now let us talk about the third statement. If I is a prime ideal of Z, then I is maximal ideal in Z. We know that if we have a commutative ring with unity, then every maximal, all right, uh, all right every maximal ideal of R is a prime ideal. So this statement is reverse of it. We, we cannot use it over here. 
we can use it in the next one but it, we cannot use it over here so see if i is a prime ideal of z then i is a maximal ideal in z now please focus on this that if i consider the zero ideal all right when i choose m to be zero you will get this ideal now i is equal to zero is prime why it is prime let us check suppose a dot b belongs to i it means that a dot b that is a dot b is zero because i is zero only a dot b is zero so do you know do you think that you have a product of two number and it is zero then do you think that both number are non zero no it is not possible over here it means either a is zero or b is zero it means either a belongs to i or b belongs to y that means it satisfies the property of prime ideal you have two elements all right you have taken two random elements from the ring r ring r is your z now their product lies inside i because it is zero uh, and uh, this implies that a belongs to i or b belongs to i it satisfies the definition therefore it i is a prime ideal this is prime i hope you get this so this is prime do you think it is maximal no it is not because it is the smallest one all right i is equal to 0 is the smallest ideal if you know the definition of the maximal ideal then you are already done all right please uh, look in your book about at the definition of the maximal ideal you will easily get that why i is equal to 0 is not a maximal ideal why it is a prime ideal you will is, you will get it from here why it is not a maximal ideal is is base uh, is just a basic thing from the definition of the base uh, maximal ideal so that is why third is incorrect fourth one says if i is maximal ideal in z then i is prime ideal so see this statement is exactly copied over here if i is maximal then i is prime why because your z is a commutative ring with unity that means fourth part is all right so what are the things that you have to do in this problem you have to check the definition of the maximal ideal and try to prove why i is equal to zero is not a maximal ideal in z got it so everything else i have done also you can prove that every ideal of z is a prime principal ideal all right you can prove this also for your knowledge purpose so from here we we got that uh, first is correct all right i made a mistake fourth one is correct all right second is incorrect we proved third one is incorrect we proved and fourth one is correct all right i made a mistake while taking it fourth one is correct because of this theorem so if you have any doubt regarding this problem, you can always ask in the comment section. If you have any other doubt, what you can do, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. From there, you can join the groups. All right. So thank you.